Thank you for joining me again for another interesting discussion from the Bible. Uh, this is a presentation by the Light of Zion. Uh, the Light of Zion will keep shining the light on our roadway to show us the way to follow in order to return back to the kingdom of our Father. So I hope you are benefiting yourself as you watch this, um, as you watch and join in this uh, discussions of Bible lessons of the Bible message for the chosen ones of Israel, those that will return back to Zion to serve Yahuwah our God at the appointed time. So again, our website is https colon forward slash forward slash www.thelightofzion.com uh, We encourage you to visit at your own time. It's a website designed for you to encourage you uh, to help you to know your God and to know the things your God is doing and the plans that he has for you, the chosen ones of Israel. Again, thank you for joining me. Today I have prepared an interesting Bible discussion and it's titled, You Should Not Fear What They Fear. Yes, you, the Israelites, the chosen ones, you should not fear what the nations fear. Uh, follow along as we go through this presentation. Uh, Yahuwah's message to the faithful Israelites, that is those who will return around from serving the gods of the nations to seek Yahuwah the God of Israel. This is Yahuwah's message to you, the chosen ones of Israel. In the book of John, 1 John chapter 5, verse 19 to 20, there it is written, So we know that we originate with God. Yes, you, the people of Israel, you, we originate with God. But the whole world is lying in the power of the wicked one. But we know that the Son of God has come, and he has given us insight so that we may, not, may gain the knowledge of the one who is true. And we are in union with the one who is true by means of his son, Yahushua. So this is the true God and life everlasting. So yes, we the Negroes, the true Israelites, we started with God. Yahuwah is the true God of Israel. He is the one to give us life everlasting as a people and as a nation, he is the one to give us life everlasting. So, yes, we originate with God, but as it is today, the whole world is in the hands of the wicked one. But Yahushua, our mess, the Messiah, our Savior came so that he can give us knowledge of the true God of his decisions, of the things that he is doing concerning, concerning us, the people of Israel. So this is Yahuwah's message to the fat, to faithful Israelites. Even though he scattered us among the nations to serve punishment, and humiliation because of our error. 
or because of the error of our ancestors. His message to us is that his loyal love has not stopped for us. Yes, his loyal love has not stopped for the people of Israel, the people that he's dealing with. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 19 to 21, there it is written, Concerning Israel, concerning our error, this is what is written. So when, Yeshu, when Yahuwah saw it, he rejected them because his sons and daughters offended him. So he said, I will hide my face from them, and I will see what will become of them. For they are a perverse generation, sons in whom there is no faithfulness. So they incited me to fury with what is not, not a God. They have offended me with worthless idols. So I will incite them to jealousy with what is not a people. I will offend them with a foolish nation. Yes, our ancestors offended Yahuwah our God by leaving our God to go and serve and start serving false gods of the other nations. This incited Yahuwah to anger. Israel became unfaithful. So he said he's going to do what? Incite us to jealousy with what is not a people. So he will offend us with with a foolish nation. So because of the error at the beginning with our ancestors, Yahuwah did what? Scattered Israel among the nations. So he's going to hide his face from us for a little while. And let's see what we become, and we will see what will become of us. So although we originated with our God, but because of our error, Yahuwah abandoned Israel. So he rejected Israel because we rejected him as our God. And chose to serve the gods of the nations. But this message is for is to faithful Israelites those who will turn back from their error to seek Yahuwah, the living God, in order to serve Him, in order to return back to the promised land at the appointed time to serve Yahuwah alone as our God. So this message is for these faithful ones who will turn around. Yes, those who will turn around. In the book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 1 to 2, there it is written, Come and let us return to Yahuwah, for he has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days, and on the third day he will raise us up, and we will live before him. So the prophet Hosea was prophesying a time like this, when Israelites will turn back from unfaithfulness to return to, to faithfulness to seek Yahuwah. Say, so come and let us return to search for our God, to start calling on our God, to search for and worship only our God, because he has turned us to pieces. But he said he promised that he will heal us and he will raise us up after two days. So, through the prophets, Yahuwah is calling all repented, faithful Israelites to return to calling on the name of Yahuwah, our God. He wants us to leave the false gods of the nations the gods that they have given to us to serve, 
and return to calling on the name of Yahuwah our God and seek to return back to the promised land in order to serve Yahuwah our God. Yes, even our Messiah said that we should do what when we turn when we return. We should seek first the kingdom of our God and his righteousness. So for the faithful Israelites who will turn around from serving the gods of the nations to return to seeking the Yahuwah, the God of Israel. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21, there it is written, And everyone who calls on the name of Yahuwah will be saved, or will be salvaged from destruction on the day of his final judgment. So for you Israelites who will turn around, who will repent and return to calling on the name of Yahuwah, the God of Israel, he said, everyone who calls on the name of Yahuwah will be saved. They will be salvaged. Everyone that calls on the name of Yahuwah, our God, will be salvaged when he carries out the final judgment that is coming. So this message is for you, the faithful ones, those that will pay attention to what is written, those who that will heed the warning and turn around before it's too late. In the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 20, concerning Yahuwah's final judgment, there it is written, So we know that the Son of God has come, and he has given us insight so that we may, not, we may gain the knowledge of the one who is true. The one who is true is Yahuwah our God, and he sent his Son to help us to gain insight. For he is the light, the one to give us light into what our God is doing. And that is what the Son of God came to do, to give us insight concerning the decisions of our God regarding the people of Israel, regarding the judgment that he has decided or he has pronounced that will be carried out on the people, concerning the people of Israel. So, and we are in union with the one who is true by means of his son, Yahushua. This is the true God and the living, living and the life everlasting. So by means of Yahushua, the one that he sent, which the world translated to Jesus Christ. Okay. By means of this one, we are we are in union or in agreement with our God because the Son revealed the judgments of our God to the people of Israel so that we will know what our God is doing with us. Yes, through Yahushua, the Son of God, we have understanding of the judgment decisions of our God the final judgment that will be carried out by the end of the 2,000 years punishment and humiliation among the nations. So the Son came and He revealed to us the decisions of the Father. Israel will be punished for 2,000 years and at the end of the 2,000 years the Son revealed to us that everything written in the scripture will be carried out and not one word will be tossed aside. So, in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 18, there it is written, So truly I say to you, the sooner will the heavens and the earth pass away than for one smallest letter or one stroke of a letter 
pass away from the law until all things take place. So, if that is the case, that everything written in the scripture will be fulfilled, not one word of the scripture will be tossed aside. So, then, what are his final judgments? Well, Yahuwah's final judgment is this. Uh, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 21 to 23, there is written, Only a remnant will return, the remnant of Jacob, to the mighty God. For though your people, O Israel, are as the grain of the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will return. An extermination has been decided on, and justice will engulf them. Yes, the extermination decided by the Sovereign Lord, Yahuwah, will be carried out in all the land. So, yes, the judgment of extermination has been decided on by the Sovereign Lord of all the unrepentant sinners of Israel. So they will die by the sword, the sinners of my people. This is Amos chapter 9 verse 10. It's written, so they will die by the sword, all the sinners of my people. Those who are saying the calamity will not come near us or reach us. In the day that I will raise up the boat of David that is falling, I will repair it, the breaches and I will restore its ruins. I will rebuild it as in the days of long ago, so that they may take possession of what is remaining of Edom and all the nations on whom my name has been called, the clash of who is doing this. So the judgment of destruction has been decided on by the Sovereign Lord, Yahuwah, and it will be carried out at the appointed time before he rebuilds the boot of the house of David that has fallen. Concerning Yahuwah's final judgment in the book of Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 29 to 33, is written, So for look, I will bring, I am bringing calamity first on the city that bears my name. So should you go unpunished? So you will not go unpunished, for I am calling for a sword against all the inhabitants of the earth, declares Yahuwah of armies. Say, and you are to prophesy these words to them, and say to them, From on high Yahuwah will roar, and from his holy dwelling he will make his voice heard. He will roar loudly against his abiding place, shouting like those treading the winepress. Say, he will sing triumphantly against the inhabit all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise will, res will resound to the ends of the earth. For Yahuwah has a controversy with the nations. So he will personally pass judgment on all human. And he will put the wicked to the sword, declares Yahuwah. So this is what Yahuwah of Ami says. So look. A calamity is spreading from nation to nation and a great tempest will be unleashed from the remotest part of the earth and those slain by Yahuwah in that day will be from one end of the earth clear to the other ends of the earth. They will not be mourned nor will they be gathered up or buried. So they will become like manure on the surface of the ground. Yes, this is the final judgment, the final judgment, the decision that Yahuwah has taken.
concerning all the people of the earth. He said he will personally pass judgment, not just for Israelites, but also for the people of the nations at the appointed time for the final judgment. This is what he will carry out. Uh, in the book of Isaiah chapter 8 verse, verse 7 to 10, there it is written, Therefore, look, Yahuwah will bring against them the mighty and vast waters of the rivers, the king of Assyria and all his glory. He will come up over all his stream beds and overflow all his banks and swept through Judah. He will flood and pass through, reaching to the neck. His outspread wings we feel the bread of his of your land, O Emmanuel. Say, so cause harm, your people, but you will be shattered to pieces. Say, so listen, all you from the distant part of the earth. Say, so prepare for battle, but you will be shattered to pieces. Prepare for battle, but you will be shattered to pieces. Devise a plan, but it will be thwarted. Say, say what you like, but they will not have success, for God is with us. Yes, Yahuwah brought against Israel the armies of the nation of the north, the invaders, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Grecians, and the Roman armies. Yet all of these will be shattered to pieces on the day of his final judgment to come. In the book of Isaiah chapter 8 verse 11 to 13 is written, this is Yahuwah's message to faithful Israelites, that is those who will turn around and return to seek for him. So with his with strong with his strong hand on me, this is what Yahuwah said to me to warn me away from following the cause of these people. So you should not call a conspiracy what these people call a conspiracy. So do not fear what they fear. So do not tremble at it. Yahuwah of armies, he is the one you should regard as holy. He is the one you should fear. And he is the one who should cause you to tremble. Says, yes, do not fear, do not keep following the conspiracy of the nations to make all people one and make Israel join them as one and serve their false gods. Yahuwah the God of Israel is the one you should fear as God. So the summary of Yahuwah's message to faithful Israelites is this. So you should not call conspiracy what the people call conspiracy. So do not fear what they fear and do not tremble at it. Yahuwah of armies, he is the one you should regard as holy. He is the one you should fear. He is the one you should, the who should cause you to tremble. Why? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 31 and 35, there is written, For their rock is not like our rock. Even our enemies have understood this. For their vine is from the vine of Sodom and from the terraces of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of poison. Their claws are bitter. Their vine is the venom of serpents, the cruel poison of cobra. Is it not stored up with me, sealed up in my storehouse? So vengeance is mine and retribution 
at the appointed time when their food slaves for the day of their disaster is near and what awaits them will come quickly. So the conclusion of Yahuwah's message to the faithful Israelites is this, Fear Yahuwah as God, the living God of Israel. Call on his name for your salvation and restoration. So do not be misled to keep following the nations and serving their false gods. So do not fear what they fear. Yes, the nations are afraid of the foretold judgment of their destruction that is coming. But Yahushua stated it this Yahushua stated it this way, said everything written in the scriptures will be fulfilled. So not one word will be thrown aside or pass away. So for you the repented Israelites, you that is turning away from unfaithfulness to faithfulness. They do not fear what they fear. Jehovah your God is what you should fear, and He is the one you should regard as holy. Until I come to you next time, remain blessed and fear Jehovah.